Oh, hey, what's up? Merry Christmas. I'm Santa Claus. And it's time for our yearly holiday gift guide video, where I pick some of my favorite products throughout the year and I suggest them to you as holiday gifts. I mean, to be honest, these are all things that I personally would love to get under the Christmas tree come Christmas morning. So hopefully you'll find some of these helpful and you can just send this video to your family and say, hey, anything on this list? But I can't do this alone. I need a little help. So just like last year, we're gonna have our special guest. Wow, <laughs> you're a lot more cheery than last year. Well, this eggnog is fantastic. I don't think that's eggnog. That's straight bourbon. Oh, either way, it's delicious. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you go sit down then. This is going to be interesting. All right, the first gift we're gonna talk about is something that I recently acquired in this last year. I've been using a similar product to this for my entire woodworking career, but it's always been kind of a pain. And so I was very happy when I found this product, which is a much simpler solution to an old product. So anyways, um, let me see it. Hold on, I just paid $8.95 to get verified on Twitter. Come on, man, come on. Okay, geez, calm down. This is the MagSwitch Featherboard. Now, if you're not familiar with what a featherboard is, basically this is a device that helps hold your wood firm against the fence, either on your table saw, or your bandsaw, or your joiner. But the nice thing about this is it's magnetic, so it's very easy to position and move around. If you don't believe me, well, just, I'll show you, come on. All right, so let's say you're cutting something on the table saw and you wanna make sure that it's kept really firm against your table saw fence as you feed the board through. Well, normally they have feather boards that fit into your miter slot here, but the problem is your miter slot's all the way over here. So sometimes it's tricky to get that feather board position, depending on the size of wood you're cutting, all the way over against your board. But the mag switch, you can literally set it anywhere. You turn the switches, boom, and then it's right where you want it. The other cool thing is they make another product, which is this one. So if you want force going down, this one can attach to the top of your fence, and then you can adjust that down like that, and now you got forced down and forced to the side, and you can move it around anywhere you want it, and it's super easy. Magnets. Put a link in the description. All right, I'm gonna paint a little picture for you. Have you ever been in a situation where maybe you're attaching a hinge or something that requires a uh, like perfect drilled hole into a certain area and you got to get perfectly centered in said area to to make the everything work but it's hard because it, you're trying to eyeball it with the drill you got the drill you're trying to eyeball it but you can't get it centered in there perfect and if this is confusing here i'm just going to show you the product and then i'm going to give an example of why this product's awesome okay radar radar now all right <coughs> what yeah This is the Rockler self-centering countersink and driver bit set. They need to work on the name, that's too long. Basically, this is a bit set that allows you to perfectly center holes when you're attaching hinges or other various hardware. Let me show you how it works. All right, so say you're trying to attach something to a piece of wood. Now this happens a lot with hinges, but I'm gonna use this handle because it's got these countersunk pre-drilled holes in here. And you want it in a very specific spot. Now trying to eyeball pre-drilling out these holes can be risky because if you're a little off center and you insert a screw, it's gonna wanna pull that handle towards the direction so that that hole is perfectly centered. But Rockler came out with this sweet product which is a self-centering drill bit. So it's spring-loaded and it's got a tip that matches the countersink. It comes in three different sizes. So depending on the size of countersink, you can get the one you want. And basically, you just set it right over the hole, engage your drill, plunge down, and now you know that's perfectly centered. But they took it a step further, which is really cool, and they have this little attachment. So if you don't want to switch now to an impact driver or switch out your bit, you just put this over the top like that, Grab your screw right there. It's already got a driver in there. And 
put your screw in. It makes things so much easier and you don't have to worry about your bit wiggling and wobbling all over the place. I mean, how cool is that? While we're on the topic of various drill bits and specialty items, I thought I would share with you my favorite countersink bit. Now I'm doing this one because I've got asked a lot what countersink bit I use, because you've probably seen me use this in videos from time to time, and you're like, what the heck is that? Because it looks a little funny, but it's awesome. And that is the Almana countersink bit. So. Countersink? <laughs> Remember that one time you tried to put a kitchen on your boat? <laughs> Talk about a countersink. Just throw it to me, enough with the jokes. <laughs> Okay, fine. All right, so these things are sweet and they look like a spaceship. So you have your drill bit and you have the countersink portion of the drill bit, but then you got this big spaceship like disc. And what this is, is this is a non marring depth stop. So when you drill your hole, it hits this and this makes sure that you don't get any marred rings around the outside of your countersink. They're incredibly easy to use. And when you're doing fine furniture or cabinetry, you don't want to have to worry about scuffing up or going too deep. So these things are awesome. Let me show you how it works. So you can change the depth that you want your countersink to be depending on what kind of fastener you're using. This will stop. It's not gonna spin around with the drill. It spins freely. So you just place your bit on there where you wanna drill, drill your hole. As you can see, that stopped so it doesn't mar anything up. And you've got a perfect, crisp, clean countersunk hole. These are the only countersink bits that I use now and I absolutely love them. And they make a pretty darn good stocking stuffer, like in your Christmas stocking. Don't put them in your loved one's socks because they could cut up their toes and that wouldn't be good. So this is a weird one and I wasn't actually gonna do it, but so many of you guys have left comments wanting to know what jeans I wear, what kind of boots I have on, where do I get my flannels? So I guess we're gonna do a little fashion show. So welcome to the show, Jason Hibbs of Bourbon Moth Woodworking. Boo, get off the stage, you're ugly. Jason is wearing a Bourbon Moth beanie found at bourbonmoth.com with a black Bourbon Moth undershirt, also available at bourbonmoth.com. He's layered that with a Brixton flannel which are the only brand flannels Jason ever wears because he likes the color and fit of them. Moving down below the waist, Jason is wearing New Balance brand underwear. I mean, you can't see that because this isn't that type of show, but just so it's known, that's what he's wearing. They fit the thighs well. On top of that, he's wearing Levi's 511 jeans. These are his preferred fit. Why don't you get a tighter pair of pants, you hipster? Well, they're not too skinny. Moving down below that, he has some NYX handcrafted boots, specially made for his feet. And could also be specially made for your feet because they hand make the boots to the customer's feet. It's pretty cool. There's a link in the video description. All right. Can we be done with the whole fashion thing now? Now, I designed these workbenches years ago, back when I was strictly doing client work and I just needed something thrown together pretty quick so I had a work surface. And honestly, they're pretty great. But there's one feature that they don't have that I've always wished they had. And that was some sort of bench clamp off the side so that I could clamp pieces like this on the side or like this on the side. But because of the drawers and everything, there's just really no room to install one. That is until I found a cool little product that solves this problem. Hit me with it, Elfie. Hold on, I got my hand stuck in this thing. Ugh, this thing's heavy. Are you sure? No, it'll be fine, come on. Okay. Ugh. Oh, jeez, I forgot how heavy this thing is. So check out this handy dandy thing in me jigger thing in my bob. It's a cool thing, okay? It's basically a detachable bench vise. It's got a little clamp on the bottom here that you can clamp 
right onto the edge of your table like this. Clamp it down there real good. It's got some holes in it, so if you wanted to screw it in place so that it was a little more permanent, you could. But this clamp on the bottom actually holds it pretty solid. And then you can stick a piece right on the edge of your bench like that. Tighten it down. Look at that thing. Solid. And you can sand the edge of a piece. You can run a plane across it. It just gives you more options. And it doesn't have to be in the way all the time because when you're done using it, all you got to do is twist this little thing on the bottom and it's gone. So I would like that for Christmas. There's a link in the description. You might be wondering why I'm playing this whistle. Well, because I didn't have bagpipes and I wanted something to tie into Scotland. What if for Christmas you bought somebody land in Scotland? You're probably like, I don't have enough money for that. Think it's impossible? Well, it's not. Check this out. Have you ever wanted to be lord of your own land? To have a place to call home? A place that is yours and yours alone? Well, establish tight. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Established titles is a fun and novel way to make that happen. Established titles is working to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. The project is based on historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest, which means that you could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit card, plane tickets, driver's license. And they plant one tree with every order so you can feel good about helping with global reforestation efforts. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot. Which means we could be next door neighbors. If you're struggling to find the perfect gift for that special someone, I mean, who wouldn't want to be the lord or lady of their own piece of land? So go to Established Titles. They're running a huge Black Friday sale right now. And if you use the coupon code Bourbon Moth, you can actually get an additional 10% off. So go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Bourbon Moth and get your gift today. Help support the channel. The link's right down there in the video description. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I'd do that. I mean, I got scotch in Scotland. Now, every year, I like to try and find a cool woodworking related book that I can recommend to you guys because books are cool. Even if you're not gonna read them, if they look nice enough, they make your coffee table pretty. So that's an added bonus. So this year's book I'm actually really excited about. Dude, just give it to me. You don't even know how to read. Hey, I know how to read, all right? I mean, I'm not reading now. I'm playing Doodle Jump, but still, I could read if I wanted to. High score! Surprised I caught that. This book is titled simply Tools. It's just a visual history of hand tools. It's illustrated by Lee John Phillips, and I think it's put together by Dominic Chinia whoever the heck they are. The point is, it's all about tools, and it's super cool. Most of them are hand tools. It's beautifully illustrated, as you can see, and it gives a history not only of why the tool was invented, what it's used for, and where you can pick up tools like that, different stores, different hammers, it's got chisels, it's got pliers, saws, a little bit of everything. So it's a good way to learn different types of hand tools, and it's just an interesting read because it gives you all the history of all the different tools. So, book makes a good gift. I mean, maybe pair this with something else. Nobody likes to just get a book. That's kind of like getting socks, but maybe a book and a domino joiner. Good gift. All right, for this next gift, I'm very excited for you to hear about it. 
And if you listen closely, you just might tune in on the perfect gift. <laughs> uh, it's hearing protection that you can listen to music in. But not just any normal hearing protection, it's really flipping awesome. So hit me with the gift. First thing first, I'm a realist. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. Yeah, and I'm still in the murder business like I hold you down, like I'm giving lessons in physics. Elf. I'm so fancy. Gift. Can't you taste this girl? Elf. I'm in the backseat. Gosh. From LA to Tokyo. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> what the hell? Thank you. Jeez. So, these are Isotunes free. 2.0. Now, you've probably heard me talk about Isotunes before, and yes, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, they're a sponsor of ours. So don't think that I'm just talking about this because they're sponsoring us. I would use these even if they didn't pay us money every month to talk about them. Believe me, I really would. I promise. They're actually sweet because they're basically the equivalent of AirPods. The only difference is these actually protect your hearing. If you put AirPods in and crank them up real high so you don't hear your tools, it's not protecting your ears, it's just hurting them. These are basically earplugs that play music at a safe audio level. So if you're looking for a great gift for that special someone, Isotunes is a great option. Hashtag sponsored, but not technically sponsored for this. So you can trust me. Who doesn't love a little shop organization under the Christmas tree? I mean, not organizing your shop under the Christmas tree. What I was trying to say there is getting a present under the tree that could help in your shop organization in your shop that hopefully isn't under a tree because that'd be a pretty small shop or a really big tree. Either one. My point is this gift is a way that you can organize things around your shop. An organization product? Really? What are you, a soccer mom? Hey, I like soccer moms. They're cool. So this is the Fast Cap Track Rack. And this one's only really applicable if you have a track system for a track saw. It works pretty much with any track brand, I think. It doesn't just have to be Festool. But you can attach it to the wall and it makes a nice fancy way to store your tracks. So they're not just leaned up against the wall. It keeps them safe and nice. Here, I'll show you what my tracks look like now that I started using these. They're pretty handy. Come on. See, I used to just have these tracks willy-nilly, just floating all over the place. Well, not floating, they don't levitate. Leaned against things. And sometimes, you know, I was worried that they'd get bent up or that the little rubber guide would get all messed up. But then I installed all these cool fast cap track racks. Say that 10 times fast. And uh, look how organized it is. To be completely honest, I didn't actually do this. My employee Craig did, so I want to give him the credit because it's Christmas time. But the point is they're up here and they look nice. And I think they make a pretty darn good gift. Now, if you haven't heard, a few video goes, a few video, video goes. That's strong, okay. <laughs> Now, if you haven't heard, a few videos ago, we launched our own product line. And we have our merchandise and stuff like that. But this is the first product that I've really invented and put out there for the world to use. Now, you've probably been in this situation before where you have a drink in your wood shop and you want to set it down. Oh, you need a coaster. This has to be the stupidest product I have ever heard of in my entire life. No one, and I mean no one, will buy this. Thank you coaster in a bag. All you do is open the bag like this. It's really easy. Very it doesn't it's not it's not a struggle, so it's convenient. You pour out a little bit of the contents and then set your glass down. Coaster in a bag, available on our website. Get yours today. Now, one gift option that I didn't give last year that I thought would be a nice addition to the holiday gift guide is a nice bottle of your favorite spirit. Or, in this case, some of my favorite spirits. 
bottom line, an idea for a bottle that you could give to somebody. And I wanted to do a couple different price ranges because depending on how much you like the person, well, you could want to spend less or more. So here's three different options. This is my favorite. Don't, don't, don't throw them! Just get up, please. This one, just, just get up and walk it. Fine. We're here, thank you. I may chuck a lot of things, but I'm not gonna waste good whiskey. <laughs> All right, so what we have here are three very different options, depending on how much money you wanna spend. I feel like, as I talk about this, I should have a glass of whiskey in my hand, because, you know, I like whiskey. Now we've got three very different options. We have an old granddad bottled and bond. This is the cheapest option. This has kind of become my go-to daily drinker. Not that I drink every day, mom. It's only, I wanna say like $18, under 20 bucks. And for what you're paying for, it's pretty good. So if you like somebody a little bit, you might get them this. Then we have a bottle of scotch. Now this is Lagavulin, it's an 11 year, and this was bottled in partnership with Nick Offerman. It's kind of a specialty bottle, but it's a pretty decent one, and I think you can get this for around $60. And then if you wanna spend a lot of money, my favorite bourbon of all time is the Old Fitzgerald 13 year. This one's gonna cost you around $500, but it's worth every penny and it's darn delicious. So if you really love somebody, well, maybe get them the old granddad and keep the old Fitzgerald for yourself because it's just so darn good. All right, this next gift is probably one of my favorite tools in the entire shop, and I know I have talked about this specific thing before, but I'm constantly on the lookout for better versions or options of this very same tool because it can be a little expensive, and I wanna find something that everybody can afford, because I'm Santa Claus. And also, I just want you to have cool stuff. So, hit me with it. Huh, my finger is exactly 11 sixteenths of an inch wide. Is that abnormal? Will you just quit messing around and toss them to me? Please, lightly. Fine, jeez, so impatient. Jeez, ouch. Okay, for this gift, we're talking setup blocks. Now, as I mentioned, I've talked about setup blocks before. You could buy a set of setup blocks like these from woodpeckers. The problem is, for a bunch of little pieces of aluminum, they're charging a whole heck of a lot of money. So if you don't wanna spend an arm and a leg on this, which you don't need to, I did a little searching on Amazon and I found this set of aluminum setup blocks, exact same quality, just not woodpeckers, and they're less than $20. You get a pretty decent size set of a bunch of different varying sizes and you got yourself a sweet set of setup blocks. Now, if you wanted to spend a little bit more money but not break the bank, Rockler also has a set that's pretty cool for a specific reason. Now, they're all messed up because my elf friend chucked them at my head, but the thing I like about the Rockler ones is not only is each setup block the thickness you're looking for in one direction, they're squares. So any direction you turn each setup block, it's the same on all four sides where traditionally it's just one side and then every other dimension is a half inch. I kind of like that these are square so you don't have to worry about setting it the right way. It just is what it is. Setup blocks are an amazing gift for anybody in your family, so get yourself a set. And if you want to waste your money and spend more than you need to, I guess you could get them at Woodpeckers. Ho, ho, howdy. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you've got some good gift ideas for you or your loved ones or your brothers or sisters or aunts or uncles or dogs or cats. Hopefully not your dogs or cats. They don't woodwork. <laughs> Anyways, everything you saw in this video, there's links in the video description, so you can just go down there, click the link, and you can get something. So until next time, when we'll actually be building and not just hawking goods for Christmas, uh, enjoy your day. 
subscribe, go over to Patreon, become a member, get extra stuff. Ooh, hey, that's actually a good Christmas present. Patreon subscription for someone you like. Add it to the list.